Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present the MLK Dream Lunch Game Changer Award to my friend, Sean Robinson. Marco, thank you. I appreciate your very kind words. Thank you. What time is it? What? Oh my gosh. It's 7.52 a.m. I've got eight minutes to get to class. You know, I can't be late. I'm a sophomore here at Spelman College in Atlanta. I'm an English major. Today is the first day of the new semester. And I heard that this teacher does not play. So I definitely can't be late. Now, where is room 132? Oh, here it is. OK. Uh, I'm going to take this seat in front. Good morning, teacher. Yeah, all right, settled in. 758, just in time. Class, the teacher says, welcome. I am Dr. Christine Ferris. The door to the classroom closes at 8 a.m. You shall be on time. Open your books to page 5. 8.49, class is almost over. Does anyone have any questions about today's lesson, the teacher said. I raised my hand because, you know, one day I always ask questions because one day I'm going to be a journalist. <laughs> yes, yeah, state your name, Dr. Ferris said. Sean Robinson, ma'am. What is your question? We heard that you are Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s sister. Is that true? You could hear a pin drop. Yes, Dr. Ferris said, Martin was my brother. Gasp from the class. <laughs> what was he like? One of my fellow classmates asked. He was my younger brother. He always had a great concern for humanity, she said. Now, throughout the semester, we would ask more questions and get a periodic and personal glimpse into the man we had only read about in our history books or seen on the calendar hanging in grandma's kitchen. Dr. Ferris said, Martin was just like us growing up, playing outside with his friends, playing pranks, getting into mischief. It wasn't until they faced a stark instance of racism as children that Martin declared in the presence of his sister, brother, and parents that one day I'm going to turn this world upside down. Because in its current upside, it was unfair, unjust, mean. So he would turn it right side up for a better, more just world for all. Martin was going to change the game. Dr. Ferris made it clear to us that we, though mere mortal teenagers, had a great responsibility that our future success would not be measured only in our grades, but in the positive impact we had on the lives of others. I didn't realize it at the time, but for me, influenced by the sisterhood that enveloped me at Spelman College, that would mean doing what I could do to help change the lives of some of the most vulnerable people in our society, and those are black and brown girls. After a career as a news reporter and anchor in my hometown of Detroit, then Flint, Michigan, Milwaukee, Austin, Texas, and then Miami, I spent 16 years as host of the entertainment show Access Hollywood. I covered 16 Academy Awards, 16 Golden Globes, 16 Emmys, 16 Grammys, and hundreds of other award shows. There is no business that knows how to congratulate itself more than Hollywood. <laughs> After a decade and a half of red carpets, I found my passion. I created the Sean Foundation for Girls. We help nurture underserved and underrepresented girls in five different areas, S-H-A-U-N, STEM, Health, Arts, Unity, and Neighborhoods. Under our health division, the Sean Foundation for Girls selected as one of its grantees a nonprofit called Healthy Girls Save the World. 
Our grant helped teach girls about healthy lifestyle habits, learning how to make a nutritious breakfast, getting in daily exercise, and setting healthy boundaries in relationships so that young ladies do not feel obligated to do drugs or have sex before they are ready and informed about the consequences. We know that when you invest in a girl, instill in her that she matters, and give her the tools she needs to succeed, she can change the world. No matter what her background, she can be a game changer. Today, we are not really celebrating the success of a hospital because a hospital is an inanimate object. It is a building just of wood, stucco, and steel. We are celebrating the mere mortals who make it run. Not only the doctors, the nurses, the x-ray technicians, the plumbers, the cooks, the custodians, the counselors, the secretaries, the painters, the artists, the ordinary human beings who said we are going to turn this world right side up and provide excellence for a community that had been forgotten. Just like Martin, we are all game changers when we stand up and speak up for a better world for those who need us. Uh-oh, my time is up. I got to get to class because I cannot be late. Thank you, and God bless you.